now only one day until Christmas. Santa will soon be here, and there are just two days until Christmas. I just can't wait for the holiday. Now only three days until Christmas. I just can't wait for the holiday. Now only three days until Christmas. Santa will soon be here, and there are just two days until Christmas. Hi everybody, hope your Christmas Eve is going well. Um, wanted to finish out the yarn tour with the last three independent dyers that um, are currently in my stash as of Christmas Eve. And these are some really cool colors, um, but these are in the reds and the brown category. Let me, ooh, sorry, let me rewind myself. This is a really pretty tweed color. And you can see the, the, uh, the darker and the lighter bits in there of the tweed. It's really, really pretty. If you haven't guessed, I really like brown and green and blue. But yeah, pretty much the only color I'm not super fond of is purple. But different shades of purple are, would be okay. Just not like royal purple. But this is another really pretty color from our friends at Fig and Posy. And I have to correct what I said earlier. Um, the dyer just stopped dyeing yarn. The Website is still up and running. The shop is still open. So I apologize for that, but I will link to the website and so that you can go check out their stuff. But so it's Fig and Posy, and this is their cinnamon tweed sock base. It is 85% superwash merino and 15% Donegal nap. 438 yards to 100 grams. And there's the color name to go with that beautiful yarn. Isn't that awesome? I just love it. Just love it. And obviously that's going to go in something fall color related. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly that will be. So that is the first one. <clears throat> the next one is kind of fall related, but it's... um kind of bright. <laughs> so there are a lot of red and orangey colors in here and brown. But this is so cool. I love this color too. So yeah, I do have a, a bright color streak that I like as well. As you can tell, I like red a lot. Um, not that I'm an Ohio State fan or anything, but you know, I do have a sun going there. And our high school colors for the kids were red and gray. So, so this is from Destination Yarn. And I believe, if I can get my finger out of the way, I believe they are a dyer that is located up in Cleveland. And this they call their postcard base, which is fingering weight. 
It is 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, 463 yards to 100 grams. That's quite a bit. And the colorway, for those of you who like Lord of the Rings, this is called Mordor. Doesn't that look awesome? It looks just like the lava that's in inside Mordor, where they go drop the ring at the end. So, sorry I'm fumbling, but there you go. Such a cool color. And no, I don't know what I'm doing with this one either, but I like the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and um, I, so I mentioned that I think these people are from Cleveland, so um, you notice a streak here. I'm kind of focusing on folks who are in Ohio. Mordor from Destination Yarn. And again, I'll link them below in the show notes. And this one I fell in love with when I saw it because it's rare that you can find chocolate brown yarn. And I love browns. Not the browns. I don't like football. I only go to football games for the marching band. But check out that brown. Isn't that so awesome? It looks just like chocolate. I love it. I just love it. And squish, squish, squish. Of course, I have to squish it. But yeah, let's see who this is from. This might be Destination Yarn as well. Because I kind of remember buying this in Mordor from the same place. And these were purchased at the Great Lakes Fiber, Fiber, Share, Fiber Fair or Fiber Show. Um, they have it every year in Worcester at the Wayne County Fairgrounds um, over Memorial Day weekend. So if you're in Ohio and you would like a nice fiber fair to attend, um, check out the Great Lakes Fiber Show. Lots of the people that I've bought from at Mid-Ohio were there as well. And yes, this is Destination Yarn. Destination Yarn. And it's their postcard fingering weight, 75% merino, 25 superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards to 100 grams. And this color is espresso. Ooh, doesn't that just look so awesome? I love it. Just love it. Nice and chocolatey brown. And I'll definitely find something good for this one. <sighs> but again, not sure what. Oh, so that's it for everything that's currently in my stash. So, um, as far as independent dyers, I still have stuff over here that's like um, commercial yarn, like um, Croy sock, um, and then the stuff on the second shelf, if I can get it here, <laughs> is um, my acrylic yarn. So that I picked up at a discount place locally who had an entire bin of yarn and I had tried some of this to make some socks and loved it. Um, it holds up really well and holds its shape really well. I thought I'm getting it and I got everything that I could in the colors that I liked and I will be doing a lot of knitting with those. And it's really squishy, and I use um, I've used the white for um, the brims of a couple of Santa hats that I made for my husband and my son. So it's very nice for hats and ribbing and that kind of stuff. Really, really nice. So at any rate, that's everything that's currently in the stash. Hope you enjoyed the yarn tour, and hope you have a great. Christmas Eve.